Good afternoon. A close call between a man and a pit bull is sparking outrage in Roswell. The man admits he shot the pit bull, even though the dog didn't bite him. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt is live in Roswell to explain. Kim, many people here have taken to Facebook and local radio station expressing shock at what the man did. But despite the incident, the dog's owner and the shooter have made amends. It was dark out Friday night when Brandy Mathewson let her pit bull Bonita loose out front. It wasn't long before Bonita spotted this man who did not wish to be identified out on his evening walk. I see this dog running at me. So I started yelling. I said, hey, come get your dog. Come get your dog. And when it got up close to me, I saw it was a pit. At that point, the 69-year-old says the dog charged at him. He reacted quickly. It went at my leg, and I went in my pocket. When I went in my pocket, I pulled the gun, and I stepped back, and I shot. A lucky shot. The 38 caliber went through Bonita's neck and lodged in her side. I come outside, and bam, I heard the gunshot, and um, she started running across back to the house on her three legs, limping. In a panic, her owners rushed her to the vet. The shooter waited for police to arrive. Like the bullet went skin. through, like right here on her left shoulder, and came through on her side. And when I would hold her, I could feel the bullet um, laying on the inside of her stomach. The vet was able to remove the bullet with a slight incision. Since the shooting, the neighbors have made amends. I, I don't go around shooting dogs. I said, but this dog was coming after me, and I feared for my safety. The dog's owner, Brandy, says she's thankful her dog survived. For the last two years, she says Bonita has been a close companion during her recovery from drug addiction. To get her and to have her into something to love and to take care of and like me and her have been like close, like she's like my child. The lesson learned. If you're going to have an animal, especially a pit bull, I guess I could say, um, people are more afraid of them than they are of any other dog. Um, to be responsible, to take care of your animal and to have it on a leash at all times because you're the one that's supposed to protect your animal. The pit bull's owner says she sustained some nerve damage in her leg, but aside from that, she's expected to make a full recovery. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Gabrielle. Now, the man that shot the dog was cited for not having a concealed carry license. He faces a maximum penalty of six months in jail and a possible fine of $500.